praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. This is Moment of Victory, and I'd like you to close our eyes and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, we thank you because you are the author of life. We bless your majesty, Lord, because you are the Almighty God. We thank you, Father, because of your life in us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because of your hand of mercy upon our lives. We bless your majesty, O Lord, because you are kind to us, O Lord, you are good to us. We thank you, Jehovah God, for all your efforts over our lives, O Lord, for us to see this day. We bless your majesty, O God. Baba, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting and ever living Redeemer, we pray, O Lord, that you open our understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, make us better Christians in Jesus' name. Father, we pray, O Lord, that you help us, O Lord, to do what is necessary in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, O Lord, that you empower us, O Lord, to be that, 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 that individual, that person that you have created us to be in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O Lord, that no evil will befall anyone on this platform in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the glory of God. I cover you with the power of the Almighty. I cover you with the kindness of God. I cover you with his faithfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. His faithfulness will keep you throughout your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree that your life and your eyes will never see corruption. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is well to your body, your soul, and your spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Redeemer. To you alone be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to pray this important prayer. Say, glory of the living God overshadow my life. Glory of the living God overshadow my life. Glory of the living God overshadow my life. Let the glory of God overshadow you anywhere you are. Let the glory of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the presence of God shall not depart from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. The presence of the living God shall not depart from your life. You will not depart from your family in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. The presence of God shall not depart from my life. The presence of God shall not depart from my life. The presence of God shall not depart from my life. The presence of God shall not depart from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. The presence of God shall not depart from my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O oh Lord, uphold me to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, uphold me to the end. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, uphold me to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ, uphold me to the end, O oh Lord, 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 uphold me to the end, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, God, oh, say, O oh Lord, my Father, give me sufficient grace to continue to hold on to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give me sufficient grace, O Lord, to continue holding on to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Lord for sufficient grace. Have the Lord for sufficient grace. The Lord will give you the grace that is sufficient in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. So shall it be. The name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Tonight, I want you to turn our Bible to Jeremiah chapter 17. I want to read a few verses there, Jeremiah 17, from verse 5 to 8. I'm speaking briefly on this topic, the blessing of focusing on God. The blessing of focusing on God. Jeremiah 17, look at it from verse 5. Jeremiah 17, verse 5. It reads, Say, Thus said the Lord, the Lord, thus said the Lord, Cause be the man hmm, that trust in man and make a flesh is ham and whose heart departed from the Lord. Very simple and direct. So, whosoever that puts his trust in man is operating under a curse. Look at verse 6. For he shall be like the heart in the desert, and he shall not see when good cometh. But shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in the salt land, and not inhabited. Very simple. That's part A. Look at verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. 
For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spread out a root by the rivers, and shall not see when it cometh, but a leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Blessing of focusing on God. We have been talking about focusing on Jesus, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. The author and the finisher of our faith. Now, the Spirit of the Lord is now putting serious emphasis on how to direct our minds on the reality of life. This place we read is very, very deep. So, focusing or trusting the Lord wholeheartedly has his own blessing attached to it. When you put your total trust, trust on something else apart from God, it has its own consequences. And the first consequence of such is cost. The fellow will be operating under a curse. When you put your trust on God, you are operating in the blessing of God. There is blessing attached to it. So the issue of trusting in the law to Christian is not optional. It is not if I like. No, it is compulsory. Otherwise, you will be praying. You are praying under a curse of the Almighty. So it is compulsory to trust in or actively, otherwise the person is operating under the cause of the Almighty unknowingly. And look at it from this angle. If somebody is under the cause of the Almighty and is using the name of Jesus to pray, he's just wasting time. So it means that before you pray to God, you must believe him and your belief must graduate to the point of trusting him wholeheartedly. Where you put your trust will determine whether you operate in the blessings of God or you are operating under curse. So it is so because you cannot serve two masters according to the scripture. It is so sad to discover that a lot of so-called Christians, they put trust in men. They put their trust in man-made things rather than God. Some put their trust in in technology alone. Technology is not bad, but that should not be your God. Some put their trust, the whole trust, in science. Science is good, but it should not be your God. Anything you trust more than God, it has become your God. Some trust in their connections. Some trust so much in their skill more than God. Some put their trust in themselves more than God. So if you want lasting blessing from the Lord, learn to put your total trust in God. He has never failing power. Trust him completely. Trust him for everything. And let your mind be filled with his wonder. Be thinking about him. Let your mind focus on God and his acts. See God in everything. In every day of your life, immediately you put your total trust in God, you find out that you'll be moving from glory to glory. You look unto him, there are any other thing. Before you consult any man, make sure you consult God first. He will refresh your mind. He will refresh your, 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 your spirit. He will give you answer to that bugging question of your life when you put your total trust in God. I want to encourage you today that please don't trust any other thing. Any other thing can fail. It's only God can never fail you. Put your trust in God. And when you look at the blessings of people that put their trust in God, is so awesome. Look at verse 7. Say, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. That is, if you trust the Lord, already you are a blessed man or a blessed woman. And if Bible Bible describe you as blessed, 
If God call you a blessed person, nobody can curse you. Nobody can put a curse upon people that God has blessed. And if somebody is operating under the curse of the Almighty, all you need to do is to repent and come under the blessing of God. Say, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, and whose heart the Lord is. Whose hope, brother, whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters. He can't see dryness at all. And he will spread out a root by the river. And shall not see when it comets. His life will be pleasant. His life will be refreshing. His life will be a source of testimony to others. People will see the reason of serving God. People will see God in his dealings. When we put your trust in God, look at it again, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Even in the old age, it will be yielding fruit, it will be fruitful. When you put your trust in God, you will be fruitful. You can't be fruitless. You have fruit, you have proof. People will see testimony in your life. They will use as a point of contact. People will refer to you, become a refer person when you put your trust in God. So it is not optional. So it is compulsory as believer to put your total trust in God. It's only God that cannot fail. System can fail, institution can fail, man can fail, anything can fail. You can even fail yourself at times. But it's only God that can never fail. I want to encourage you again today. Put your total trust in God and you will never see failure in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to close your eyes right now and begin to pray this prayer. Say, Oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. Oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. Oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. Oh God, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. Oh Lord, begin deep and lasting work in my spiritual life. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Oh Lord, restructure my life to fulfill your purpose in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, restructure my life to fulfill your purpose in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, restructure my life to fulfill your purpose in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, restructure my life, 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 restructure my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, in this month, the presence of God shall not depart from me in the name of Jesus Christ. The presence of God shall not depart from me in this month and forever. The presence of God shall not depart from him. The presence of God shall not depart from me. The presence of God shall not depart from him. The presence of God shall not depart from me. The presence of God shall not depart from my family. The presence of God shall not depart from the for my children. The presence of God shall not depart from my spouse. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the hand of the Lord shall direct the affairs of my life this month in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord shall direct the affairs of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the hand of the Lord shall direct the affairs of my life this month in the name of Jesus Pray that prayer. You need it. You need it. You need God to direct you. You need God to guide you. The prince of God shall guide you. The hand of God will guide you. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O oh God of new beginning, start new things in my life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God of new beginning, Start new things in my life now. Start new things in my life now. Start new things in my life now. Oh God of new beginning. Start new things in my life. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want your amen to be very strong right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, every arrow of spell, every arrow of destruction sent to your mind in order to make you to have costly mistake i command you to backfire in the name of jesus christ i mean the arrow of uh, uh, arrow of spell the enemies sent to your life for you to fall into costly mistake i command you to backfire in the name of jesus christ any power 
planning to disgrace your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus. I mean, any power planning to disgrace your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ shall protect you. The blood of Jesus Christ shall preserve you. The blood of Jesus Christ shall provide for you. The blood of Jesus Christ shall keep you alive to see good days in the name of Jesus Christ. I say again prophetically by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the blood of Jesus shall protect you and your family. The blood of Jesus shall preserve you and your family. The blood of Jesus shall provide for you and your family. The blood of Jesus shall keep you alive and your family to see good days in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Keep trusting God. Keep trusting God. Keep trusting God. You will see the blessing of the Lord will flow into your life automatically in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Don't forget, this is moment of victory. And every moment of resistance to temptation is a victory. Never, never give up. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.